Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 6th of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever, I'm going to give you the standout features to look out for. And of course, there are two massive ones this week with Saturn's arrival in the sign of Pisces. But please stay with me because I will dive deep to give you each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces in forensic detail. But this introduction gives you a perspective of what we're collectively going to experience this week. And of course, the standout is the arrival of Saturn in Pisces. But this coincides with the full moon in the sign of Virgo. Each year, the Virgo full moon asks us to balance the more perceptive, emotional and spiritual dimension of the sun in the sign of Pisces with the more practical and physical plane of Virgo. So if we're investing too much time and energy in really uh, speculating about what we would like, Pisces, but not taking the action to go through the processes, Virgo, then that is going to create a degree of inertia. So getting an attunement between the physical and the spiritual planes is the key to the next two weeks. But Mars is pretty close to a T-square between the two points. So I think it's possible that some secrets and information can spill out into the open and in quite an abrasive way. Mars, of course, is a very impatient influence, particularly in the sign of Gemini, which is to do with words, messages, communication. So Pisces being in the 12th house is more to do with secrets. So anything to do with work or health, I feel that there will be information coming into the public domain over the next two weeks that could cause some shocks. But also, Uranus is in the mix on this particular uh, full moon, encouraging us to look at things in a fresh and different way. And in fact, later this week, it's Mercury's turn in the sign of Pisces to link in a very productive way with Uranus. So if we use the energy of Pisces to listen to our intuition, but take action in a more grounded, earthy way through the guise of the Moon in Virgo or Uranus in Taurus, that's how we're going to make the most of this week. Now, if you're a returning viewer to my channel, thank you so much for joining me once more. If you're new here, it's great to have you with us. Please comment and interact. I do uh, interact with all comments that are made. This is very much a community. And please like and subscribe. So Taurus, your week commencing the 6th of March is going to flag up some issues about your future life direction. Obviously because of Saturn moving into this area. But I also feel it could be to do with some of your friendships or associations that come under the astral microscope, not just from Saturn, but because of the full moon. The Virgo full moon each year is asking you to evaluate, are you expressing your talents and, and creativity in a way which gives you a long-term channel for them? Or are you kind of being a bit too much of a people pleaser? Or are some people around you having too much of an influence on some of the decisions that you're making? And because Mars has been in your second solar house since August and has been at times in that very uh, very uh, subtle but complex right angle with Neptune, which is uh, re repeated again this week, I think knowing what your motivations are about your future plans is really important, but also knowing what you stand for and what the people around you stand for is important too. So if there are some people around you that don't share your values, I think the next couple of weeks can make you more aware of this, but the next couple of years could see some significant changes in the people that populate your social situation. But with Uranus in attendance, if there is a fresh way to look at something, take it. Uranus is the planet of truth. It's also the planet that governs the sky. This is our opportunity to think about our resources and in your case, about are you really being in touch with the part of your nature that really feels 
that it's truly you. You know, are you living your life too much as a people pleaser or to conform to what was always expected? Or are you uh, maintaining some stability in your life because that makes you feel secure, but it's choking off your passion? So I think this week is uh, some big questions for you, to be honest, but it sets the tone for what you can expect from Saturn over the next couple of years. Mm -hmm.